hello welcome back to my channel my name is Pese Ugo I am a shoemaker and a youtuber residing in Lagos Nigeria you guys should be tired of me saying that by now today's video is very 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 different <laughs> <laughs> For some of you that don't know me, I make shoes that are handmade and crafted here in Nigeria, in Lagos to be precise. And during the course of my business, up until now, there are some certain books I have read in the past and even right now that are helping me in my business and in my life generally. And I thought, you know what? We've got a lot of people who want to start a business here. We've got a lot of people doing business already, entrepreneurs, or people who just want to learn how to do one thing or another. And I think they can benefit from these books that helped me. So that's what this video is about. Don't forget to stay to the end of this video to see who I would be giving shout outs to. Those who have commented in my videos in the past are gonna get some shout out and if you want a shout out in my next video don't forget to comment on this one and also subscribe thank you <laughs> the first book i'm gonna be showing you guys is this wonderful amazing book by brian tracy i feel like brian tracy and i we kind of click with books i love his books i have so much of his books i have read and i have given out to people which they haven't returned but his books are really helping me. I love them so much. I don't know how many of you have seen this book or you have read this book, but this book is amazing. This book teaches you a lot of things like why people buy things, the game of selling, how to set and achieve your goals, success in selling, a lot of things. A lot of things are inside this book. This is actually not a paid advert. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I feel like it should help someone. It is very, very wonderful. It's by Brian Tracy and it's called The Psychology of Selling. This is how it looks like. Brian Tracy is actually an international best-selling author. He's written a lot of books that are helping people right now. And I think this is a wonderful book to get, okay? Another book I love is Rich Dad Poor Dad by Kiyoshaki and Lecter. I don't know if you guys know about them. Oh my god, well, I don't even I don't even know where to start. Guys, this book is really amazing. I don't have it here right now. This book teaches you about your nine to five work and how you can persevere on making it a success and trying to use that to pay your bills and it also gives you entrepreneurial dreams how to um, dream as a business person and how to set goals as a business person and still achieve those goals if you notice most of these entrepreneurial books are always talking about how to set goals and how to achieve them because those things are really really very important in my business right now i'm actually in the stage of rebranding and um, i've been having series of meetings with a lot of my team members a lot of people that are working for and with me and it's been a success due to the fact that i've been reading this helping and life-changing books another book i love is how to win friends and influence people by dale carnegie i don't know if i'm pronouncing this the person's name very well but the most important thing is what he wrote inside the book just as the name implies how to win friends and influence people this book really teaches you on how to um, make friends with everybody you meet and win over competition it kind of gives you that insight on how to win people over people who are negative to towards your businesses or people who don't just want to support you this book actually teaches you how to win them over to your side make them do what you want them to do sell your product to them and even make them advertise and give you referrals this one is one of my absolute favorite goals goals by brian tracy i love this book i don't know it says how to get everything you want faster than you ever thought possible and right from the name you can know what this book is about setting goals and achieving them like i said earlier most of the entrepreneurial books always have a section where it teaches you on how to set your goals and objectives and meet them it also teaches you on how to manage your time well which is something i'm really struggling with i've kind of done some certain things before reading this book that really took my time and i'm like why did i even do this i should have been able to manage my time well to make it productive your time should be able to make money for you every second in your life should be able to make money from you guys this book who Moved My Cheese by Spencer Johnson, guys. <laughs> the book's name is very, very funny. When you see the title, you'll be like, Ugh. but it's actually a very strategic book. It's actually just 96 pages, but I think it was 96 pages when I read it. It kind of 
teaches you on how to get into the mind of business people and how they live their life, the choices they make and how those choices have influenced their lives. Another book to read is Rich Woman. This one is for my ladies, okay? Rich Woman by Kim Kiyosaki. I think she's the wife of Robert Kiyosaki, the guy that wrote um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad with Shekta Bilekter. So this particular book is specifically for women and how they can take charge of their finances and their money, how to put it in a good structure, how to put it in the right place. Rich Woman empowers women on how to be independent and don't depend on men for money. So if you notice, <laughs> when you have a lot of independent women, <laughs> the world will be a better place. I don't care what you have to say about that. Women rule, okay? I'm a feminist to the core. Another good read is The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Geber. This book is quite inspirational. It still teaches you on how to start and manage your business and also be different from everybody around there. It throws more light on the difference between working in your business and working on your business. Those are two different things. And we are back to Brian Tracy. Oh my God, this book the hundred absolutely unbreakable laws of business success brian tracy guys <laughs> this book highlights so many different laws that you didn't even know existed the laws of selling the laws of negotiating the laws of starting a business the laws of life the laws of success the laws of wisdom the laws of business the laws of leadership the laws of money should i go on this book really helps you I, I, do, I don't know how to emphasize it but you have to get it to know and read on all these laws so you can know how you can apply them in your business and in your life generally this is another good read a crash course in finance by david h banks and andy axman it's about understanding and controlling your finances getting bank loads raise venture capital and maximize your profit it helps you in doing all of these things it gives you a guideline on how to get loans from bank and how to make sure that the loans you get you're able to pay them in a particular period of time and also it helps you maximize your profits understand and control your finances i think this is really really good i also haven't started this i got this recently but i feel like this is this is one of a good steal and look at section one look at the topic of section one this is like laying the groundwork to finance your business like who doesn't want to know how to lay the groundwork to finance their business who doesn't guys have you read this book click millionaires who oh got click millionaires by scott fox guys this book right oh, this book actually emphasizes on online business it guides you on how to go on about online business and how to implement them in your business how to gain online through putting your business out there we are in a digital world our internet services has grown everybody is going digital on instagram social media websites mails research google everything is online right about now even your finances are online most people say don't get to meet you and they can buy things from you i have never met gucci in my entire life i don't know him i don't know him but i have items from gucci through online businesses that's just it and most of my clients have actually never seen me they just practically go to my normal instagram page and be like oh okay this is the ceo of this company and they'll be like okay no problem and most of them don't they just chat with my customer care representatives on instagram or on the website and they just purchase that is the power of online business so this book will help you and guide you on how to put your business online and how to make profits from it's another book thinking fast and slow by daniel Kamen. this book talks about two systems that are found in our mind that can either make or break our, our ability to be successful in business and that is about thinking fast or thinking slow are you a fast thinker in business or are you a slow thinker and these two systems can either make or mar the ability of your business to be successful that's what this book is about do you want to be fast and emotional or do you want to be slow and more logical 
how they work hand in hand or how it's preferred to one in the system of your whole mind and how to apply that in your business guys i think this is very very important because there are a lot of risks we take in businesses or i personally take that some of them pay off and some don't and the ones that don't pay off i'm like okay i learn from this experience that hasn't paid off i don't know if you get what i'm saying guys another book that has helped me out is i have it right here the power of self-discipline no excuses that's it right here brand tracy steel guys this one is mine i actually got it that's my name right there i love 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 this book it teaches you on self-discipline and personal success self-discipline in business sales and finances and also the final part is self-discipline and the good life good life meaning happiness your health your marriage your children your future that's about the good life and um i just want to read something from here it says do your own thing a popular definition of success is being able to live your life in your own way doing only those things that you want to do with people who you choose in the situations you desire this would help for those people like me that suffer from procrastination i'm working on it i used to do that but because i've been reading books like this it helps me out in um procrastinating and delaying in things i'm supposed to do and right now i find myself even persevering and being the one to be at the forefront or the protagonist of almost everything I do in life. So this book really helps. It helps with procrastination and delaying, and it helps with your self-discipline. No excuses. Have you read The 4-Hour Week by Timothy Ferris? You know, um, one of the things we always look forward to is being able to work and own a business and still be able to live your life, go on vacations, go on trips, go around the world, enjoy yourself, relax with the money you're working for. So in some instances, um, you get to work and then work by work, I mean in your own business, not nine to five. You get to work and then um, you don't have the time to enjoy the money you're making. But you have that fear at the back of your mind that if you stop working or if you stop doing this particular business or if you stop putting in your 100%, the money isn't going to be coming as it is right now that you are. So this book helps you to structure your mind on how to not work 10 hours a day or nine hours or seven hours a day but how to work at least two to four hours a day and still make maximum profit like how you would have made if you're working 24 hours like you're just sitting on a yacht and making money who wouldn't want to read that kind of book who wouldn't want to achieve that kind of success because it's a level of success entirely so that book makes you think that way and enables you achieve that particular goal another book is the startup of you i haven't actually read this one but i've heard a good amount of positive vibes from this particular book and i did some research and i noticed that the the book actually is structured um concerning those people who have a nine to five job and still have a business so it kind of helps you merge them together merge your nine to five job with your business and still um, achieve a lot of productivity without being stressed out now let's talk about the hundred startup by chris gilbert <laughs> i think it's french because french people are the people who answer those names both so this book actually talks about 50 um most successful entrepreneurs who are making more than fifty thousand dollars but they started with nothing in their bank accounts so the name of the book is the hundred dollar startup and like I said earlier, it emphasizes on those people who have had nothing, who came from nothing, who started from the bottom now we up, started from the bottom now we up. So it emphasizes on different entrepreneurs and how their lives are structured 
to elevate them from the zero status to now the big box status i think um it's very very vital for people who um want to start businesses but they don't have capital or they are at ground zero it happened to me i started with 500 mb and what i mean by mb is megabytes data megabytes and that's how i started my business i didn't have no capital and you have no money to start but i just started so this hundred dollar startup is gonna help you it's by chris gilbo if you're looking for the book it's amazing it's a wonderful read and um i think i have actually passed that stage of my life but it still helps me i'm not at ground zero anymore but the book still helps me crush it by gary G gary vanok i think it's gary vanok G G G gary vaynerchuk there are some certain authors that when you read their books you're like what is going on in your mind like how do you even think like how did you come up with this this book actually tells you that you should stop sitting on your couch and waiting for um the day you're gonna be paid to do the things you love you can start and you can crush it and you can crush out and crush and like you can start and be successful like don't stop sitting in your couch like it's it's still about procrastination always delaying and saying you're gonna do this tomorrow you're gonna do this next tomorrow no some people are just stuck in their comfort zone and this book helps you to it gives you a boost it kind of motivates you to stand up and get busy and do something with your life do something you're passionate about and make sure you have your know, success in it make money from what you're passionate about and just drive it drive your passion it's really really motivational i love it so much i'm gonna read it again actually because i've kind of got it's been a long time i've kind of lapsed on it it's a little bit so i need that motivation and anytime you're feeling down that so and so business is not going and sometimes it may not even be about business it may be about a section of your life like if you want to start a youtube channel or for me when i see that most of my subscribers have not subscribed to my channel or i'm not getting a lot of views these are the kind of books that help you and please subscribe to my channel thank you peace out Another book is The Lean Startup by Eric Ries or Rice. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this name. I just focused on what they have to teach through their books. And this book is about various techniques that an entrepreneur should um, take or use in order to be successful in the, his or her business. It also teaches you on how to go against the odds and succeed. And it just teaches you on how to not take no for an answer in business and how to succeed that that's 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 inspirational that is very very inspirational and most times when we want to do something not just in business alone and we try to go for it and we get a negative response we go back and just sit down in our comfort zone this book helps you gives you that motivation to tell you that okay even if this thing doesn't go the other way try this other way take these various techniques structure it to make your business successful and get positive feedback i mean it really helps the entrepreneurial mind by kevin johnson this book just like the title the entrepreneurial mind it tells you on how to change your way of thinking how to change your mind how to start a business and make it grow and succeed how to not be negative how to change your way of thinking how to be positive thinking oh i i the mind is actually a very powerful tool it is so powerful that it can make and mar anybody so if you change your way of thinking you will change the way you do things you will change your action so this book the entrepreneurial mind tells you how to change your way of thinking guys it is so 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 important don't let negative thoughts in your head don't let negative energy in your body get out negative vibes and push 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 start grow and succeed in that business that's what this book is about it also tells us about um sometimes people establish businesses and it doesn't succeed and they tend to um be like okay business is not for me so it actually tells you that okay there are sometimes you have to let go of a particular business and start a new one if you do a business and it didn't work out it doesn't mean that that's the end maybe that is not just your field or your venture you can decide to start a different business and still succeed in it that is it but there are specifically some people that business is actually not for them they are a career person they like to go to work they like to go to their nine to five jobs it's not bad but this 
this particular video and this particular book is actually for entrepreneurs the hard thing about hard thing by ben horowitz <laughs> this book tells you how to build a business when there are no answers it puts you in a ceo's mentality how to rule how to guide how to tutor and mentor people it's basically about his own life his own entrepreneurial story how he started and how he overcame how he grew his business and how successful it has become so i think sometimes we have to learn from people who have done these things and have left um clues and answers and guides for us to follow through so that's one thing about that book i really really love it and it's one of the books i would always want to read again and again and again now my philosophy for successful living by jim Rohn. that's the 20th book i would love you to read that's number 20 okay that is number 20 are we in number 20 already yeah <laughs> it kind of tells you that um um living a successful life oh god what did i say living a successful life is not just about it's not about being selfish it's about bringing value to people around you and people that come in contact with you so when you're successful it's not just about you 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 success is determined and shown by the the way you affect people around you that is exactly what this book is about this book teaches you on how success should look like and feel like i think it's a great read and i think it's something you want to get okay wow thank you so much guys for <laughs> staying through the end of this video it means that you really really want to learn something and you really want to grow your business thank you so much so much this time for shout out y'all yeah our first shout out goes to Harmony Ugochuku, my baby. I love you so much. You know why? <laughs> Thank you so much for commenting on my video, girl. You make my day. I love you. I know you. You know I love you, right? I love you, Harmony God. I love you. And the second shout out goes to Kende Sheun. Thank you so much for commenting on my video. I love your support. I appreciate it. I do not take it for granted. I love you, love you, love you. And I hope you subscribe. And the last shout out goes to Ejikene Bliss. Thank you again for commenting on my video. It looks like you're a very, very serious commenter. <laughs> Is there a word like commenter? Thank you for commenting on my video. Thank you for your support. And if you want to get a shout out from me, please comment on this video or any of my videos. I'm going to see them and i'll give you a shout out in my next video thank you again for watching i love you so much and bye for now